Hello folks, the old hunter here. I got a few things I want to talk about and uh, y'all can tune into my little show every Thursday and see what I'm talking about. Right, one thing I want to talk about is I got requests, people sent me several requests and want me to request things I've done as a kid and uh, food I've ate as a kid and how did I make money and all this kind of stuff. Well, it's a long story so it's going to take several episodes to tell it all. All right. The first one is I worked with my daddy quite a bit, so I didn't have a whole lot of free time. I had to wind up chopping firewood in the wintertime. That's all we heat it with. And when I was really young, my mother didn't even cook on the wood stove. Daddy was old-fashioned. He didn't believe in a lot of modern stuff. But anyway, you know what the story I used to help him build skiffs. People come to him and want, want a skiff. He'd build them a skiff. Explain the skiff. Explain what a skiff is for people that, from outside right, the area. Small boat. Uh -huh. Without a motor, you can put an outboard motor on, you can roll with oars, whatever you want to do. Would it be the same thing as a P-Row? No, it's bigger than a P-Row. Okay. Uh, a lot of people go buy them made out of aluminum, they got a blunt note, they call them a John boat. Okay. All like that, you know. A bass boat's the same thing as a skip. Okay, I didn't know. That's why, I, you know, you gotta be, so, there's people watching from outside the country. Yeah, so anyway, I would help him do that. And, uh, I'd always try to make me a little money the best way I could. And one of the ways I made money was we lived out on, it was kind of like an island out in the middle of the darn swamp. It was what, five, six families lived out there. And the road I had to walk going out there was just, it was just a shell road. But everybody calls it the dump road. That's where the city dumped all the trash and stuff. On each side of that road, it was filling in that marsh. Now, it wasn't nowhere near where we lived, so we were not worried about the flies and smell. I was a good ways away from it. But anyway, I would, I would go through the, the dump, and I'd pick up uh, cold drink bottles, copper, anything I thought I could sell. And uh, if I remember right, I got two cents a piece for the empty cold drink bottles. So I, I'd pick up them and try to buy a lot of my BBs with, for my BB gun. And uh, the copper, I'd sell it. I'd sell it to the junk man who lived about a mile from us. I'd wait till I had a pretty good load. And I'd put it in a wheelbarrow and I'd push it up there and sell it to him. And that's how I made money. What did the copper go for, if you remember? Uh, back then, it was probably about 12, 12 cents a pound. That's not bad for back then. No, not really. Right now, it's probably a dollar and a half a pound, not more. Well, it's 70 years later, too, yeah. So, <laughs> a lot of people threw a lot of stuff away in the dump. There was always a lot of copper. They change out the screen on their porches every now and then. Well, that's copper. Yep. So I'd, I'd sell that, you know, and uh, old electrical wire and stuff. Like I said, anything I could find to make a dollar with, because I pretty well bought my own clothes and stuff from the time I was old enough to kind of work. My school closed on, and I had to buy BBs for my BB gun and everything, you know. Yep. And uh, I wanted to save enough money when I was about 10 years old. Save enough money, I bought me a. A Benjamin pump up pellet gun. And boy, I really had something there to hunt with. I killed rabbits and coons and squirrels and even little three, four foot alligators, you know. I, I harvested a lot of animals. We ate a lot of them too. But uh, it's amazing how the brain can retain stuff. Mm -hmm. I built my first skiff, or boat, if you want to call it a boat, uh, when I was probably about 40 years old. And it came so natural to me, I didn't have a bit of trouble. Built it one day, other than painted. A six, four foot bottom, 16 foot long. And it just, it just come right out of me like I've been doing all the time. Hell, it's been 35, 40 years, you know, since I helped Danny build one. So, but it's amazing how the brain does retain stuff like that. Well, I hope whoever wanted to hear about my childhood a little bit's enjoying this, because I'll get on to another one in just a few minutes and I just want to say one thing, folks. We still got that damn deadly virus out there. And until everybody gets vaccinated and start distancing and wearing masks and stuff, we're never going to beat it. Uh, that's the only way we're going to do it. Folks, go get your, your shots. It's not only going to protect you, it's going to protect your loved ones, it's going to protect the other people that can surround you. And it's the only way, I mean, look at the measles, smallpox stuff. If we got back this then we'd be rampant with it right now. See, we can't beat it, but everybody got to do their thing, you know? Yep, and we don't lost one good friend to it. Yeah, we don't lost And we had friend. another one that got sick just recently. And, uh, you know, it's just unreal, you know? 
And uh, I look for this going for a long time, so just try to do your part and let's beat this thing, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, folks, see you next time, and have a wonderful day.